Sarah. Um, Morning. Will the world end? <laughs> we'll do. What we, know. we might do one day, yeah. actually. Um, so basically, we have got what's called another near miss with a potentially hazardous object. High near, high near. About eight times further away than the moon is. So we're talking about 2.6 million comps. It is actually pretty mm. close because you think how big space is, how big mm. our solar system is. And we've got something which is the size of three football pitches, so around 270 metres in diameter coming that close to Earth. So the one which hit Russia last year, which we may have heard about in the news and quite a lot afterwards, that was only about 25, 30 metres in size. So this is 10 times the size of that. Yes, it's going to be a lot, lot further away. But the point is, we don't know about the majority of objects like this out there. So, OK, this is a near miss, but we've got all these chunks of rock orbiting around and the planets such as our Earth and other planets, their force of gravity changes the orbit of these really tiny objects. So, yeah. actually, it could come closer so next could, time. Could, oh, so it's not likely to veer off course now, but how certain are we about, you know, the, the path of these things? Well, not very certain at all. This one's definitely not going to hit, but there is actually one in the year 2029, the same sort of size, which is going to come as close as all our communication satellites. And if something like this was to hit Earth, it's got the potential to actually, you say it was to hit London, it would wipe out an entire country. So it's, a, it's not like the dinosaur one, it has to be a kilometre in diameter or bigger to cause extinction. So that's only, but what did you say, 2029? 20, 2029. 20, 20, 15 years Yeah, away. so that'll come really close, and then that's going to pass by us again in 2036. And we're not certain of the exact mm. orbit of that asteroid. Well, so that one is outstanding. It's welcome. It, that is, one is. it is. We should be nuking that one. We well, is there send... anything we can do? Can they send anything up to steer it away? Actually, nuking. Did you never yeah. see the Bruce Willis <laughs> movie? Did you never see? Of course they can. Yeah, no, but that is, it sounds like science fiction, but the UN has actually got a department, a big treaty of outer space affairs. Asteroids is one of their big things as well, especially after what happened in Russia. So this um, department to look at asteroids has been around for about 10 years. And... We have no plans in place at the moment. We know about of about 10,000 objects bigger than 25 metres in diameter, which could come very close to Earth. Yeah, and okay. plans range from sending a nuke there to actually sending astro astro astronauts even to an asteroid uh, to actually change its path. Right, we're going to look at the flight path of the one that we've got now. Does this, does this have a name, this asteroid? It does. It's very imaginatively named 2000 EM26. OK. Well, let's have a look at the, uh, the flight path here. And uh, th there's the dimensions that we've got, 270 metres wide, uh, which is about the size of three football pitches, I'm told. Speed? 27,000 miles an hour, so it's going pretty fast. But if it was to hit Earth, it would actually break up in the atmosphere because you're going from a vacuum to all the molecules in the atmosphere, so it doesn't actually crash that big it actually blows up as it hits earth and it creates a big fireball does anything come in its wake does it travel on its own or does it bring any debris with it well, as you well? can get debris breaking off it as well and if it collides with another sort of asteroid it can cause problems as well but this one's just on its own but there's a lot of asteroids this size out there that we don't actually know about would we see anything in the skies tonight you can't see anything in the sky, but there, it's kind of geeky. It's called Swoosh, and it's named after the Swoosh a telescope makes. And they're actually streaming live the um, asteroid coming close to Earth, so you'll be able to watch it online. OK, so uh, it will still be more than 2.6 million kilometres away from the Earth, and that is a near miss. Sarah Credis, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Indeed. Lovely explaining all that to us.